Hey everybody, welcome to step four, uh, creating your unique onboarding plan. So yay, we are at almost at the end here, creating your, we're ready to create your onboarding plan. So um, just a couple of quick things here. This, there's not much to this section. Um, we've done a lot of work to this point. So understanding what onboarding is, selecting your method, and then identifying your process. And so once you know your process, the plan is really about just putting that process into action and how do you create that process? So just some things to think about um, what you'll need to do in order to put your process into action. I have a checklist here and I have an example. Um, I'm gonna go over the checklist first and then I'll go over the example. So um, the checklist for your onboarding plan um, just getting clear again on the method and the process for your plan. Who are you onboarding? What's the best method for these specific people? Um, how will you be implementing the plan? Um, oh, giving yourself attention, give your attention to feedback from potential members to decide um, what you need to do in order to create your onboarding plan. Um, asking who you can, asking who you have for support for you and when um, do you want to have all the members onboarded, as well as being excited about the onboarding experience for yourself and for them? Like, how can we make this fun and exciting, interactive, and all that good stuff? Um, learning about the necessary steps or tools. If you're wanting to do an email sequencing, like you'll need to learn about that. Um, or if you're doing videos, maybe you need to learn a little bit about YouTube, or if you're learning. If you're wanting to put together a presentation, maybe you need to learn a little bit about Canva so that you can have a, um, an on, a orientation packet. Um, so those are just some examples of different uh, things that you might have to learn in the process of your onboarding plan. And then um, when are you gonna set a date to um, create your onboarding plan? And um, when will you review your onboarding process, asking members for feedback about the process, as well as maybe recognizing when you need to change the onboarding process. Um, and then who could you ask for support, for accountability uh, on your progress so that you can benchmark it each way. Uh, so that is the checklist that you'll have. And then the other resource here is the example I have of the Find Calm Here onboarding plan that I created. So. Here's an example of what I'm doing. I have uh, decided to do concierge for right now. I'm contacting each uh, member or potential member uh, via email and then with a welcome call. I'm actually doing an email and then a welcome call so I can walk them through all the benefits and features of the Find Calm Here community and answer any questions they may have. The onboarding process is going to be um, Again, with uh, emails written, and um, I'm also going to talk to them on the phone, on the on the Zoom calls. Uh, following up with a welcome call, I'll send them a personalized email reviewing all of the awesome benefits. Um, currently, for learning, I'm going to plan to uh, learn email sequencing, which will be in the next two weeks. And then I have it here at the bottom. I'm planning to learn email sequencing between July 12th and 23rd, so I can start to test emails for implementing them into my community building workflow. So these are just uh, things that I'm thinking about it, but I also have a caveat there that I don't need to know this right away. <laughs> and I must create a strong bond between myself and the members so that we can work together to make the community great. And that's what is amazing about Find Calm here. Uh, everyone in this community has been so super helpful to myself that um, I'm excited. I actually am excited every time I get to talk with members of Find Calm here, and that is fun. So that is the end of this section. We have one more to go. See you shortly.